Good afternoon, Thomas. Today is the 10th day of June in the year of 2015, a.k.a. my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> what? I hope you are enjoying your time in Montreal with your parents. Make sure you make the time count, my friend. I really liked your letter to the future Tom. I like how you predicted that you would have boundaries that you would have to overcome. I liked how you gave yourself advice, like some kind of time-traveling therapist or something. Overall, I just, I liked it. It was good. It was heartfelt. I enjoyed it. If you're interested, I actually did this myself a few, uh, a few months back on my Severely Basic YouTube channel. If you want to check that out, you can check it out right here. With how my life is going, I have two jobs. One, did you click it yet? Anyways, funny story. I watched all of season two of Game of Thrones in a day and a half. When I watched season one a few weeks back, I watched it in a day and a half too. So season one and season two I've watched in a total of three days. That is 20 hours of showtime that I've spent watching Game of Thrones. But I did that 20 hours in 48 hours. Do I have a problem? Do you have a problem? I don't have a problem, okay? I don't. I swear to God, I don't. Double challenge accepted. So I went looking through my Facebook profile as soon as I heard that you wanted to give me the challenge of posting a few pictures or whatever and, and talking about them or what I remember about them from my childhood. So I went as far back as grade 8. Anything past that wasn't uploaded to the internet, so I'm, I'm pretty lazy. But other than that, I, I went through and here's some of my pictures. So the first one I want to talk about is me in the hockey equipment. Uh, this is probably grade 8-ish. I remember playing a lot of hockey in my childhood. I think from the age of about 10 to probably 15, I spent all of my time playing hockey. Probably even earlier than that, maybe like seven or eight. That whole time I was playing hockey, man, whatever I did. I went bike riding over to my friend's house, we played hockey. We went to the schoolyard across the street from my house, we played hockey. Next picture I wanna talk about is on your screen right now, and that is me and a lot of the guys from my grade uh, in grade eight that I graduated with from public school. The only person I talked to in that photo is the second one from the right. Not that I hate the other people, it's just we don't talk anymore, I guess, so. And if you didn't know, this is me. Next one I wanna talk about is me on the way to school trip in Toronto in 2009. So, six years back, that was me. I just remember uh, being heavily involved in the music department, and that was the first music department trip that I remember taking or ever took. So, moving on. We have this pic right here of me and Rhinestone, aka Ryland. He's definitely one of my best friends. And this is actually after we finished Cirque, our musical, that he co-wrote and I wrote the music for. This is after we finished that and we were in the green room and stuff like that. So I just wanted to include it because he's one of my best friends and, and that was kind of one of the things that started it all. The last picture I'm going to show you guys is me at grad with my grad date. I went to grad with one of my best friends as well. Her name is Danny. I'm sure that you've heard me talk about her before. Grad was a really good time. It, it was kind of bittersweet. You know, we had to say goodbye to some of our friends. We, we kind of cemented some of the friendships that we had throughout high school. Yeah, I think this this picture kind of captures the entire atmosphere of the night. It was, it was a very enjoyable night and it's one that I'm gonna remember for a long time. My challenge to you, Thomas, is to throw five paper balls could be the same paper ball, I don't care what it is. As long as you sink the paper ball in the trash can five times in 45 seconds from about five feet away. You don't need to get out a measuring tape or anything like that. I'm not gonna dock your marks for it, but make sure it's five feet, exactly. And you, Thomas, I will see you on Friday. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Do it! Some people dream success. Well, you're gonna wake up and work hard at it! Nothing is impossible! You should get to the point where anybody else would quit. And you're not gonna stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! If you're tired of starting over, just stop giving up. Just do it.